why people love to meditate and why people like to become monks and nuns sometimes. People often say the happiest time of their lives is when they're at peace. And actually that's what we say, isn't it? Peace is golden or silence is golden. And peace of mind is the most valuable commodity in the world. Isn't that really why we search high and low for a partner, you know, for a lifestyle, so we can have a few moments of peace? So really the craving, if you really want to crave the right things, we really want to crave for peace. Peace in our own hearts. If you can't find peace in your own hearts, of course you can never make peace in the world. All the peacemakers have a lot of anger inside of them. They have also a lot of self-doubt. And because of that they can never make real peace. Only a temporary pause and ceasefire and hostilities between mankind, womankind or the planet. But when we learn how to find a bit of peace in our own hearts, then we understand what is truly worth craving for. Which is why in that book which I wrote, Open the Door of Your Heart, I said one way of making that peace in your own heart. Will you say to yourself, whoever I am, whatever I've done, the door of my heart is open completely to me. You make peace with your past, not by fighting it, but by accepting it. You can't make peace and war at the same time. Peace means accepting, embracing, being one with something. It's another word for unconditional love, acceptance. Embracing 